Good morning. So, um, <laughs> here we are back at the dialysis station. Um, you can see my bag hanging there. It is my second exchange and I am running quite a bit behind today. So first thing is I did go to my DeVita appointment, which was great. I got to see Deborah. She's so lovely. I just love her so much. Then because it's overcast, I think you can kind of tell in the room it's a little bit shady. Um, I decided I better hit Costco because you know me and my love hate relationship with the sun. And so um, I went ahead and went to Costco and I got there about like 9.50 ish and I got a parking spot right away, um, pretty close to the front. And I walked in and a covering a shade because the sun was behind the clouds. And then I went in and I get, um, I actually got a basket because my son needed toilet paper and Costco really is the best deal for toilet paper. If you remember, I had that car repair and he totally like paid for it. And so then I'm paying him back over time <laughs> with little things like diapers and toilet paper and uh, chicken bakes because he loves Costco's chicken bakes. And so um, it's just kind of a cold deal that we have between each other. And I just love the fact, honestly, I feel like I'm going to tear up. I'm blessed to know that I have kids who will totally help me in whatever situation um, with a generosity. And that's always been hobby. He's always been one to just be like, okay, here you go. And then um, he doesn't even really expect to be paid back. But of course, to be an example, I want to, you know, of course, pay him back. It may take me a long time to pay off this debt that's uh, in chicken bakes, <clears throat> considering chicken bakes are like $4. But, you know, whenever I go into Costco, I'm always like, do you want dinner? <laughs> so uh, it's just kind of like a fun little thing between us. And I decided because I was so hungry. Um, and you guys know that the only pizza I eat is either Hungry Howie's or Costco. I decided I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and get Costco pizza. So I did, and that's all that's left. <laughs> I just love it so much. <laughs> and speaking of food, at my dialysis appointment, I was given this little listy poo of fast for us foods and a list of stuff that isn't quite as filled with phosphorus because all food has it. I, I don't know if I'm saying it right, phosphorus. I try to say it fast so I can, you know, say it right, but whether or not it's right or not, I don't know. So uh, one of the things I see on here in to avoid or limit, catch this, chocolate. I know there's a lot of health benefits with chocolate, especially dark chocolate, chocolate that is real and not like processed through and like filled with a bunch of things like Snickers <laughs> or, you know, those kind of things. But um, actually it does carry quite a bit of phosphorus. And I forgot about chocolate being on there. I don't consume a lot of chocolate, but isn't that funny that it would be on the no list? Uh, although I, you know, uh, about a year or so ago, remember I was eating, um, hot Cheetos. I was in this phase, like it was just hot Cheetos for like a month. That was just, I just craved hot Cheetos and hot Cheetos isn't on the list. So I was like, well, there we go, <laughs> which is not how you should deal with it. You should not deal with food like that. It's not appropriate, <laughs> but we all kind of make that kind of justifications, right? So anyways, um, on the no list, you have processed meats, which is very true. That's going to be your hot dogs. Now, here's another thing. <clears throat> when I eat a hot dog, okay, so it can be from Costco, um, which is a smoking deal. Like you can get a giant hot dog and a soda or, or drink for $1.50. And Costco will never change that. Like they're like, we don't care if we take a hit on it. It doesn't matter. That is our reputation is always to have that for that price. And so the hot dogs are really good. You know, they're sometimes you can get hot dogs and they're pretty salty. Um, maybe I just noticed that, but um, Costco hot dogs are good. Um, QT hot dogs is the other place that I will eat hot dogs at. And the, the deal with QT is that <clears throat> sometimes 
when we're done at a gig. And we'll swing by on the way home and grab a hot dog. And that has been our little go-to snack at night. And we try not to do it a lot because honestly, Donnie should not be eating the bread. I do good with bread. I'm okay with bread. He does not do well with bread, but we're both getting the benefit of the beef and the hot dog. However, it's still not the best to eat, I think, probably. <laughs> so I don't want to rain on anybody's parade of hot dogs, but that's definitely on our list. You know, like the Oscar Mayer bologna processed meats, the meat that is your deli meat, your fast food, um, bacon is on this list. That's pretty good because I wouldn't think bacon would be on this list being that it's like a meat for pork, but maybe because I don't know. I, I try not to eat. I, I actually had bacon the other day and I was like, why did I order this? Um, so I just, I'm just not a fan of bacon anymore. I think too, after not eating it for a while, it just is a taste that I, I don't like. The other foods on here is going to be bread, pasta, rice, macaroni and cheese, uh, ramen. This is great. You know why? Because they've actually updated it because they have posters in Davida that show like, I honestly, like, I feel like these were posters that were made like back in the seventies or eighties or something. Cause the pictures themselves are just really weird, but this is like totally updated. Like ramen, don't have ramen. <clears throat> ramen is really not great for you. Um, overall, even if you have good kidneys, it's just not a good thing. It's like, I just can't explain it. It's just not really good. But there's other noodles that you can get if you like ramen, you know, like pho. I eat pho once a week. And so far, my lab results have not shown a negative. So I'm going to keep doing pho, but I use a different noodle than ramen noodle specifically. Um, Let's see what else is on this list. Uh, snack foods, biscuits, frozen waffles. I've got to let go of those egos. Uh, pancakes and muffin mixes. Those are all like processed foods that we don't buy. Diet cola and fruit punch. So all sodas, dairy, milk, cheese, yogurt, cream and ice cream. Beans and nuts and corn products like tortillas. On the good side, there's fresh meats. So go get, buy that roast, you know. Um, Plant-based, plain pastas, rice, caucus, adding your own flavor. So maybe not sauce. That's interesting because over here on this side, it says no rice and over here it says rice. Maybe processed rice is what it's, I bet you that's it. Like long grain rice or wild rice is probably a better rice than the other rice. Um, beverages, water, of course, flavored sparkling water, tea, coffee, fresh homemade, fresh lemonade, ginger ale, milk, cheese, yogurt, cream, ice cream made with rice, soy, almond, coconut, or oats. So here's my thing, because <laughs> I always have a thing. It's better, it says, to have non-dairy products, non-dairy milk, cheese, yogurt. I just don't agree with this because why, first of all, soy milk, soy product is in everything. If you really look at the ingredients, soy is the cheapest thing to be a filler. And a filler is added to food to make you feel full on something that isn't nutritionally based. So that's wild that that's on this list. Um, I would rather eat fresh homemade ice cream from the Daisy Cow down the street than to eat fake ice cream with added items that aren't supposed to be ice cream. Does that make sense? Like oat, this is wild, that you don't want somebody to have an, a, an item that is 100% natural, <laughs> then to add stuff to it that we don't need to eat. Like we're not cows. 
so we should not be eating oats and I'm very anti oatmeal you know corn is in everything soy is in everything and soy actually makes uh, men have sexual dysfunction to be honest like if you look into what's how soy affects the body it's terrible soy oils are terrible why am I gonna have ice cream with soy in it it's just terrible it's just terrible all of it's terrible so I don't know now I'm like hmm but I am glad that they do have this list that it is updated and you know we can all pick and choose from it and I think too I'm pretty disciplined and being strict about things more so than people around me and so I think that for me it's a little bit easier to be like oh I'm not eating that <laughs> whereas when you're just so used to it it's hard because you have to break that habit and you have to like pull back from what was normal and I'm like they don't have to have them if you don't buy them and it's hard because you th you get in your feelings and you start making emotional decisions instead of logical practical nutrition nutritional ones really though all you can do is start with yourself because even with my son I'm like I don't think Charlie should have this you know or I'll explain to him like you know I know you want to give him like I buy juicy juice for Charlie and he can only have one little cup of it a day and I usually water that down and I tell my son, you know, that way that his sugar is controlled because whatever else he's eating at home is going to always have sugar in it because you guys don't pay attention the way that I do. I you try to share with him what I do with Charlie and hope that he'll do it too, but I can't control that. And I can't control other people, but I can control me. And thank God I have Donnie who's cool with eating how I eat. Uh, ben is cool with eating how I eat. And when the kids come over here, they just know. Like there's no, there's no super snacks. There's no, um, and it's, it's kind of funny because one time Ben invited his friends over and his friends were like, what well, do you have any chips? And I'm like, oh no, I don't buy those. <laughs> I'm like, I don't buy cereal. I don't buy crackers. I don't buy cookies. I don't buy milk. Um, I, well, I have milk, but, uh, just for Charlie, <laughs> you know, but I, I don't know. It's just, it's just different. So anyways, that was my adventure today. Costco check new food list check. And I had spoiled myself today with a piece of pizza. So even though I'm like, hey, stick with the good stuff, we are still human and we still cave into those little treats. So maybe if you're trying to get a hold of your diet and really try to make those changes, you just take a day and you're like, this is a day I'm going to eat a slice of pizza. All right. Have a good day. I'll talk to you guys later. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.